Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Zoe Lee Spielman and today I will be doing a get to know me tag. Okay, let's go. What is your ethnicity? My dad is Cameroonian and my mom is South African. Yeah, my dad's black. My mom is colored. Why the name Spielfro? My surname is Spielman and Spielman translates to play man and I'm not a man. So why not Spielfro? And Fro in Afrikaans is sp <laughs> And woman in Afrikaans is Spiel is no, it's not. Is Fro. So together that makes Spielfro. Basically my son name is Spielman. I changed it to Fro because I'm a female, not a man. What is your sexuality? Do you know how many of you guys actually asked me this? It's actually crazy. I am pansexual. So, anybody, everything, whatever you're offering me, if I like it, I'm gonna take it, you know? Um... What is your shoe size? I am a UK five. Um, yeah, and I don't know why, but always in my photos, my feet always end, end up looking so long and I don't get it at all, like at all. My coming out story isn't even a story because I didn't necessarily come out. I didn't feel that I had to, you know? I mean, straight people don't come out. So why do gay people have to come out? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Why is being straight the norm? Are you an atheist? No, I do believe in God. Not necessarily the Christian God, but I do believe in a higher being. Where do you get your inspiration? Literally everything, like from, it can be from the weather. I get it from my friends, from other posts I see on social media and then I just change it according to how I'm feeling or what I feel would make it more me. Your thought process when picking a fit. Listen. Oh, whatever I'm feeling in that moment, you know? So however I'm feeling on that day is how I will dress. So like, if I'm not happy, I'm not gonna go and put on bright colors, hey? Literally how I'm feeling in that moment. If I wanna look sexy and I wanna wear a short skirt, something that's tight and just, <laughs> you know, then I'ma do that. My favorite movie. I actually have quite a few, I don't have one. A lot of them happen to be old, musicals so like annie but the first annie i'm not that big on remakes hey that even with covers of of songs it has to be really really good for me to actually like even consider liking it the sound of music that is my movie then my mom ended up getting me into shawshank redemption it's a really good movie go and watch it how are you able to be so unapologetically you i wasn't always like this I used to hop on trains all the time, just want to fit in. I wanted to fit in so, so, so badly. And my mom just never understood because she was never that type of person. So like we would clash a lot because she would just not understand why I want to fit in so badly when I can just be me, you know what I'm saying. I, I started to realize that even when I was hopping on chains and trying to fit in, and I was fitting in, people still weren't happy. I was still getting hate. So I'm fitting in, you're hating on me. I'm standing out, you're hating on me. Either way, haters gone hate. So literally just do what you want to do. You will never, ever, 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 ever be able to please everybody. Like it's, it's, it's impossible. So just do what you want to do. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Pisces. Yes, I'm a water baby. I am on the 11th of March. Put it in your calendar. Your thought process when creating content. I think 
everything that I do is based on my emotion. I don't know what it is actually. I don't know how to answer that question. I try to lie and act like I do. I don't. It just happens. Like it literally just happens. Favorite thing about yourself? I don't know if this person meant physically or like personality wise, but physically, my eyes. I like my green eyes. Okay. With my personality, I don't think I have a favorite thing. I do like myself, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I think my my versatility. I is vers versatility? Versatility is definitely a word. I'm very versatile. One could even say adaptable. I can adapt to any situation I'm in. Even if it takes me like a bit, sometimes it would take me longer, other times a lot quicker. I, I can listen to any genre of music except k-pop do not bring that thing near me i hate it are you taken it's complicated i didn't discuss any form of what's that thing called the exclusivity ex 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 <laughs> exclusivity labels are a bit scary why don't you smile in your posts i like i like how i look when i'm laughing but i don't like i find it so awkward to smile in photos it's like you're looking at this camera and you're like if i don't have something to smile at what am i smiling for like what do you look for in a partner you just have to be funny hey you have to make me laugh would you date someone who is 5'3"? Guys, no, no, absolutely not. I am 5'3". What are you doing being 5'3 also? Like, no, what, what, what am I doing with someone my height? Like, why are you my height? Pet peeves. You know, when people drink from a straw and the drink is finished, buy another one or accept that it is finished like why are you forcing you are drinking from an empty glass well what is your worst relationship or breakup first of all i only count one relationship that i've been in and the reason for that is if a relationship does not make it past the sixth month it was a trial run like it was not a thing it didn't happen you messed up somewhere because i am not the problem i'm never the problem anyway about the breakup i don't think it was an ugly breakup but because we were never friends before like when we met each other we just knew we wanted to be more than that so then we had to cut ties with each other which was it was really sucky it was an adjustment because you're so used to being with someone and because it was my first relationship i didn't know how to move after that because there was a lot of heartbreak through it so yeah we broke up and then like the, a good, for a good year after that everyone that came into my life i was comparing them to him and <sighs> would you ever date outside of your race yes race is not a determining factor for me like guys I don't know maybe I don't know how to put it into words but you can't just cancel out all people from a specific race it makes zero sense have you met everyone from that specific race no you have not so you can't just cancel the whole race like no you you can't I've, I've been interested in someone from every single race literally black colored Indian even Asian guys where do you find asians in south africa you don't you don't how do you feel about your man's having a female best friend if this best friend is not your mother then no no absolutely not or your cousin i don't even know about cousins because they they like to claim people are their cousins and then you go to a family gathering and that cousin is nowhere to be seen so if this best friend is not your mother then no what are you doing i have a male best friend i know how i am with him like i can i can literally change in front of him so now i'm thinking but so there is a hand changing in front of my mans why are there no other rooms in the house 
Is there no way else you could have done your business? No, please don't bore me. Ugh. Would you stay on a date if the person wasn't the same in person as they were over the phone? I would like to say I wouldn't, but I'm actually so nice. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. You'll never hear from me again. And I won't lie and say I enjoyed the date, but I I'll stay. Who's next? Your view on polygamy. Guys, you see me, I like to act like I'm a modern woman, you know? Like, I'm just, I'm so ready for polygamy. I would do it. But I know that when it comes to the time where it's time to be polyamorous, we're going to fight. We are going to fight. It's not happening. You know, there's a lot of questions here about my mental health, but I think I'm going to make that a separate video. I'll do a whole video on that. I just can't get too soppy now, you know? Have you ever dribbled anyone? Listen, I wouldn't say I dribbled the person, eh? but I wouldn't like if that was done to me. For a period of time, I was talking to them while I was talking to him. So I don't know if that counts as dribbling. No, I'm not a dribbler. Your thoughts on marriage. Love it. I'm ready to be wifed up. I'm so ready. Let's let's go. Actually, right now. Marry me now or I'm dying. Marry me what now or I'm dying. I said marry me right now or I'm dying. You start your dreads in 2009, but I have cut them multiple times, and that is why they are only. And this isn't even the actual length because it's shrinkage, but they're like about here. I chop my hair. I don't know why my hair. I'm sorry, baby. I am so sorry that I have put you through so much. Last question. Um, what career are you trying to pursue? I am going to be studying law. Well, I don't know what type of law yet, but apparently you never know until, like, you literally won't know until you are basically done with your degree. So there's that. Okay, guys, we have reached the end of the video. If you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the video. And please do comment below on what you liked about this video, what you didn't like, what you'd like to see. Engage, engage, engage. Thank you.